Welcome back. It is time for, if you can believe this, the last <laughs> Ask Sassy segment of the year. We're talking New Year's Eve, what you can do to prep some tasty treats if you're hosting an event, if you got people coming over. Karen joins us now on Zoom. Karen, good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. Happy last couple days. No Isn't it crazy? Down I know the wire. So many folks getting yes. ready for those New Year's Eve parties if they haven't prepared already. That's why we got you here, Sassy. Let them know what's up. Well, everybody, this, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm oh, so glad. Don't get choked up. Girly, girly, it's okay, we'll, we'll talk to you next year, too. <laughs> you can come back. I mean, seriously, I'm just so touched. Okay, well, what's exciting about the end of the year is getting ready for these parties is that we can start thinking about um, great appetizers to make. This is not the, the holiday to roll out big dinners. I like to do everything that's portable, which is really good because portability with this new phase, you're going to want to get a lot of little containers. I happen to have a lot of mason jars. And have you seen that thing that's called jarcuterie? Yes. Charcuterie. So, yeah. is <laughs> Phil Augustine. Dude, no. the rage. <laughs> well, what? You, yeah. Yeah. Ding, ding. So what? Oh uh, I shoot! We're, I think we're we're losing you, Sassy. You're freezing I think up we have a little bit here. You still with us? Oh, we're losing her. Yeah. Oh, you're sorry about that. I know this is. This is what happens sometimes when you have to do it over Zoom. We're so sorry. We want Sassy to be back here with us in the studio. And we're yes. going to talk with her soon. Mm -hmm. By the way, you can always hop on to news9.com. I know there's a lot of useful tips there. And we're going to talk with Sassy as well. I know she was mentioning about the parties, planning them. Little things. That was my big takeaway. Jarcuterie. That's yes. a great idea because you could take Little that. Little hand-picked things. Yeah, you could take it with you. And not only that, but if it's in an individual container, I know there's a lot of concern right now with COVID cases rising. So you mm -hmm. got an ability to actually have an individualized little spread right there. So. Yes, that's always really smart. Any like, you know, small trays. Oh, have we got her back, Sassy? Okay. There she I'm is. Back. She's back. <laughs> Just a I'm minor back. delay. <laughs> well, you we were hyping up your dry cootery. You know what I believe it was? You were, you were trying to put off this segment knowing it was the last one of the year. I was. I was yeah. trying to test everybody. It's <laughs> not over really here at the end. So do a lot of jars. The other thing is, you know, go ahead and have some fun with the kids. It's going to be cold. So guess what I have ready? S'mores. Oh, yum. Mm. New Year's s'mores? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm all about that. Yeah, and it sounds like you're going to need a fire. Mm -hmm. It's going to be cold. And those resolutions do not start until after midnight. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <Right>. so, <laughs> Got to make the most I'm going to have s'mores. I'm also going to stock my bar with a lot of non-alcoholic spirits. Because, you know... Bad weather and drinking and driving and drinking and driving under any conditions mm. is not a good thing. In fact, my grandmother was killed on New Year's Eve by a drunk oh. driver. Mm. So I always have a spiritless New Year's Eve at my house. Yeah. And honestly, I uh, really am a big believer in now that they've moved to uh, everybody's become really creative. And a lot of you can buy a lot of spirits that taste just like vodka or gin or rum and they don't have any alcohol and then guess what you're going to have to kick up your game and making mocktails have a mocktail competition at your mm. house and there's so many creative mocktails out there now and i'm glad that you oh. brought that up yeah because it really is a trend right now yeah a lot of people are wanting to go into january sober and mm -hmm. that's uh, absolutely yeah, a lot of ways to and do it's that. a huge trend and it's a good time to get in there and experiment with your friends and your family and figure out who makes the best one. And then they get to be your mixologist for the rest of the night. That's right. <laughs> easy, easy. So when you guys are planning your party at your house, we got about 30 seconds here. What is the number one thing that you like to focus on if you're hosting a party? Well, the number one thing I like to focus on is I want to have the work all done. So when everybody gets there, I'm not running around cooking. So make sure that all of your cooking is done ahead of time. Hello? <laughs> Ellen's just getting out of bed. <laughs> He's headed to start that cooking already. Yeah. He's ready. I've got the list of things that have to be cooked. And so, honestly, I don't want to have to do any work the day of the party Enjoy or the, the night, night of the party. Yeah. I want it to be done. So I work ahead. Smart. Well, Sassy, it's been a great year with you, and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Have you a happy year. new year. 2022. <laughs> okay. Happy new bye -bye. year. Bye.